Well, hello, my YouTube family. It is Tuesday, only Tuesday, and it is February 2nd, I believe. Yes, it is. February 2nd, 2016. And Tom is, uh, he's all over the place. Okay, so can I just say, one more time with feeling. Yes, see this little breakout over here? Mm -hmm. And there's a couple in the same area. The second one. Pink rose. Yeah. Um, I won't be using these as often as I would have liked to have used them. Gorgeous colors. I have a feeling it's the highlight that they mix in with this that is not agreeing with my skin. However, uh, curlers to cupcakes. Cupcakes to curlers? Cupcakes to curlers? Dorothy, you know I messed up your name, right? Cupcakes to curlers. Curlers to cupcakes? It's one of those. I know it's got curlers and it's got cupcakes <laughs> in there. Anyway, Dorothy, my girl. Um, She stated that she does see a difference in the foundation because of the bronzer. Because she notices a glow. And it's not its not this. It's the all-around makeup. And I have a feeling it's because of this beauty. This loveliness right here. Take a deep breath, honey. Mixing it with my foundation is the best thing ever. I, I kind of had somewhat of a glow with the... Hold on. Hold on, hold on. With this, because I, I was uh, I originally mixed my foundation with this, but the illumination is more apparent with this. So I don't know if it's because of the shade, because these are two different shades. This is Gleam, and it's more of kind of like a pinky, almost a rose goldy, more pinky. And this, as you can see, is just a brown, tannish, bronzy bronzer. It's a it's a brown, it's a bronzer, it's a liquid bronzer. But it is illuminating my makeup, which thank you, Jesus. I know I've come to the realization that it just may not be a 16-year-old glow, but it is a glow of an adult woman. And I am quite quite satisfied with it so this is a keeper as expensive as it may be I, I may not repurchase it constantly once it's done but um hello keeper I'm just saying this I am in love with this it's $35 people at Ulta $35 at Ulta and it's only one fluid ounce you know for $35 they could give you like five ounces or something but it do what it do, and it do it well. So this is the box. Take a deep breath. And this just says skin color. It's not skin color. It's a skin period color period. So, you know, it's, it's trying to tell you that it's giving your skin a little bit of a bronzy color. And it only is in one shade. It's just one shade. It's just that. So it doesn't come like in a number of shades or anything. It's just that one shade. And I love it. So it's light. And even though when you pump it out, you kind of smell a little tropical essence of some sort. It doesn't stay on your face. It does. It immediately goes away. So that's that. So I'm very happy with that and not so happy with this. I'm not saying that I won't use it again and the other one as well. I just may have to mix them with something. I don't know. Or use them with a lighter hand or something. I don't know. But, you know, this breakout here. And it's like right there, like for everybody to see. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Mm. But it does give my face a glow. It does get, see, that's the, the, the mixture. Because I don't like dab like just the, the pink side open it up I don't like dab just the pink side and then the highlighter I, I swirl my brush throughout the entire thing and I think it's the mixture of both that makes me break out so won't be doing that 
anymore. So that's that with that upon that, people. Um, they're giving me a little bit more responsibility at work now. And I did get a nice feedback. But you know, I'm not I'm not gonna be naive to think that, you know, that it doesn't mean that, you know, they want me to help, but now the help it, you I'm already set. I'm already set to but to believe that whatever they're asking me to do, it's not just help. This is gonna be my new responsibility from now on. So I'm ready. But um I I was told that the person in the department that I'm helping in the person went back to the department and said, thank God for Nancy. And I was like, oh, that was really sweet. So I guess I can be of some assistance. So if they could just give my work a little bit earlier, it would be really, really nice. Because they tend to give it to me at 4.30. Why are you giving me an hour to do a job that I have to kind of rush through but also pay attention to detail? Give me, give it to me in the morning so I can do it throughout the day and you will still get it at the end of the day. Thankfully, I, when I'm focused on something, I'm really focused on it. So what I did today, it was a pile of invoices that had to be alphabetized, which I do every month. That That's not, that's not the new responsibility. I've been doing that for a while. But she gave me a pile to alphabetize and I hate the alphabetizing. I like when she gives me invoices that I have to put in numerical order. That is no problem. I enjoy that. But when I have to do it in alphabetical order and it's this thick and she gave it to me at like 420. Why? Why? I don't know. Sometimes I'm thinking that they're testing me to see how fast I work and how fast and efficient I work. So I'm trying to, I'm, I'm always thinking of it as like some kind of an audition or some kind of a test of some sort. That's just the way my mind works. I just don't want to F up on anything. So I did that uh, right before I left at 5.30. But also right before 5.30, the person that gave me work to do last night at 4.20 also, I don't know what it is about 4.20, and I finished that this morning and I did it. He didn't need it by the end, by the end of 530 yesterday. He said, no, you could take your time with it. So I finished it this morning and uh, I sent it back to him and it was the way he wanted it to be. But now he said he's thinking to himself, I could see the, 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 the mind working. Well, if she can do this and she did it well and she did it efficiently, let me see what she could do with something else that I'll give her. And the something else that he's going to give me is tomorrow. But I'm rattling on, and I should be telling you the story after I do Lips of the Day. Eight minutes in, and I'm, I haven't given you Lips of the Day. What the hell am I thinking? This is supposed to be Lips of the Day. Okay, so here we go. That's the lipstick, and here's the lip liner. I just, you know, I was going on, people. Sorry. My bad. Okay, here we go. Lips of the Day. The liner, oh, they're both Milani, come to think of it. Milani, color statement, lip liner. In the color, oh, where's the color? Fuchsia. It is the color fuchsia, aligned. And filled is flirty, 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 really Nancy, flirty fuchsia. And it is a Milani color statement lipstick. And there he is. My shades. This this is this is him in the middle of the night, people. Picture me with my head on the pillow. And I have to deal with his butt on my head. Moving along. This is Flirty Fuchsia. I have done a lip look on this before. This is Flirty Fuchsia. I, when I was going through my fuchsia phase. I go through phases, people. My family knows. The ones who have been with me for a while, you know. And the newbies, you will begin to know. So this was go going through my fuchsia phase. And as you can see, it is a rather fuchsia pink. Fuchsia, hot pink, whatever you want to call it. And this is the swatch. This one is a, it's kind of like a luster. It would be luster in MAC terms, but 
the color statements came in like three formulas, cream, matte, and metallic, I think. And this kind of falls it because if you could see the shimmer a little bit, it doesn't show the shimmer on your lips, but it's kind of like a luster shimmer kind of a thing. And this one fell under that category. So there you go. And there you go. Not drying the color statement lipsticks. Milani did well when they came out with these lipsticks. I'm just saying. They should just keep moving on and making more colors with these. Because this formula is the ish. Tom is going crazy, as you can tell. So, and I've already fed him, so I don't need an attitude. I did feed him before I did the video this time. I don't need his attitude. Oh, yeah, honey, he rolls his eyes at me and everything. Um, it, it's, it's, and he meows. I don't know if you can hear him. Meowing. He likes to talk late. To think once upon a time I thought this cat was mute. There ain't nothing mute about this cat at all. So, there you have it. So, that is lips of the day. To get back to what I was telling you, uh, the person in the finance department came up to me at around a quarter to five and said, as soon as I saw him walk through the door and come right at my desk and he gave me this smile like, Nancy, I was like, okay, here it comes. It was going to be one of two things. I effed up in the job that I did the, the that I gave him, but I don't think I did because he would have mentioned it earlier. Or he's going to give me something else to do. Sure enough. I'm going to, uh, as you can see, you know, we're, we're kind of using you because we noticed that you could get the job done. Don't butter me up. Please don't butter me up. Um, this is what I'm thinking in my head. Please don't butter me up. Just tell me what you want me to do. So it's kind of a convoluted. I'm not going to tell you what it is, but it's kind of convoluted where I have to make phone calls to, to retrieve some information for tax purposes in order for forms to be mailed out. Okay. So I asked him, I said, okay, so you want me to make calls? And he said, yeah. I said, I just don't want the calls to interfere with my incoming calls because, you know, I, I'm the receptionist. I have incoming calls coming to me. He goes, I understand that. Um, if you feel that it's getting a little crazy, like your phones are getting a little crazy, put what you need to do for me aside until you get that little lull and then, you know, please continue. So I was like, okay, no problem. I said, you just need it by the end of the day, right? He goes, most likely, we'll see. We'll see could mean he needs it by the end of the day or I have until, you know, Thursday. So, I, I, you know, I didn't feel stressed about it because it was after he walked away from that, from telling me to do this for tomorrow, that the other co-worker co -worker who's in his department came to me and said, you know, he is very happy with your work. He just said, thank God for Nancy. I was like, oh, well, thank you. So I'm very happy about that. But, you know, at the same time, it's like, mm you know, pull up, put the brakes on because I know that the work is coming now. I think it's because they're tired of seeing me be on Facebook. You can't blame me. It's either you catch me watching TV, CNN, when the phones are not really, uh, you know, operating or operating, ringing all that much, or I'm on my Facebook. I'm, I'm doing both and I'm answering the phones at the same time. But I think they want me to work. And I have a feeling, just a, just a little suspicious feeling, that my supervisor may have had something to do with it. Just saying, just I could be completely wrong. She may not even realize that they're using me to, to, to help with that, their department. But you know that little intuition voice that you have? You need to listen to that. So I'm listening. Oh, he's over there. So, you know, that's that with that upon that. I don't mind just as long as it doesn't keep me late. Just as long as I complete whatever I need to complete by 530. Because 530 I'm out the door. They don't pay overtime anymore. And um, it's bad enough. I'm not getting paid. Yeah, no. 
how I would like to get, how much I'd like to get paid, but it's a paycheck. I am forever grateful. And now that they're using me more, maybe they'll, you know, whisper in my supervisor's ear or maybe the person above her, Nancy's an okay chick. We should have used her more. And da, 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 da. She's very efficient. And I'm just saying, yeah, I, I, I got to toot my own horn, people, because who else is going to do it? Okay. So I know what I can bring to the table. But, hey, just as long as where I am is where I stay. I don't want to do such a good job that, you know, Nancy, why don't we move? You know, you're not going to move me. No, how, no way. Because moving me means that I have to deal with other people and in a department. And that's where it gets tricky because that's where, you know, they start to, she's the newbie. We'll let her do all the grunt work, grunt work, grunt. And then if you start to complain, then it's like, could you come into the office? We've heard a few things. No, I'm not getting caught in that trap. I like where I am. And if you want me to help you, you need to bring the work to me. I'm not going to the work. You are bringing the work to me. As long as I am sedentary in my seat and I am not shifted to a department, no, no. Now, they may think of that as, well, she's not ambitious. She doesn't want to elevate her status. Maybe I don't want to elevate my status. So I guess I'm just going to get paid the way I'm going to get paid because if you don't elevate your status, your check doesn't get elevated either. That's okay. It's chilly. It's, it's, it's coolio. My bills are getting paid. I have some in my savings. And uh, yeah. Oh my. Aren't we lovey dovey all of a sudden? Uh huh. So that is that with that upon that. I will fill you in on how this is going to progress uh, as the week goes on. Tune in. So that's that with that upon that. This is a no go. So I will just shift that way in the back of my blushes drawer along with the other one and it'll get lost in blush land. And, um, you know, maybe by the end of the year or whatever, when I do my clean out, maybe they will find their way in Larga Baggio. I don't know. It's way too early to tell. But the fact that you're breaking me out on my cheeks, that is not promising and I'm not a happy camper. So, yeah. So that's that with that upon that, people. You know, I'm just, I'm, the only thing I've got to do now is just get my hair done. Because I'm doing the eyeshadow thing. Y'all see that, right? This Coastal Sense sampler is the ish. Because I could, you know, look at the variety of colors. I could just use this. I don't need any other eyeshadow. Just use these. Got a light pink, got a darker pink here, which is what I have on my eyes. That's my very, very favorite Coco Diamond right there. And this one is called Rainstorm, this blue one right here. The, the first pink one here is called Reef, Reef, Reef Coral. This is Reef Coral. This one is Bronze Peach, which is the one I've got on my eyes. That is my all-time favorite Coco Diamond. And that one is Storm. And these are just samples. And I can't even remember when I got these samples, but they've lasted a very long time, very long time. And I love them because I don't wear eyeshadows every single day. But when I do, honey, hello. Okay. So, um, is anybody going to watch the trial of OJ Simpson uh, tonight on FX? I'm ready to laugh, honey. I wrote that on my Facebook page. I'm, I'm ready to chuckle. I'll be ready to chuckle tonight. Because have you seen what they did to John Travolta, who is portraying Shapiro? I forget the first name, but he's he, Shapiro is the one that he's supposed to be. But his makeup, what did they do? What, what is with the eyes, eye, the eyebrows? Like if you put his makeup against the real Shapiro, it makes him look like a clown. And why is Cuba Gooding Jr. OJ? Like, where'd they get that from? And David Schwimmer from Friends, he's Kardashian. What the hell? I don't, mm, 
I don't understand the casting at all. At all. I mean, if it was a Lifetime movie, I would have understood, I, you know, but Lifetime usually uses actors that I've, I've never heard of before in my life. But this is a fact. This is FX. FX. I guess they didn't really have much of a budget to put this on. And uh, Johnny Cochran is by is is being portrayed by something B. Vance. I forget his first name. I know his middle initial is B and his last name is Vance. Great actor. But the commercials that I've seen of this, the little trailers on the commercials, he's over the top. So this is going to be somewhat of a caricature of the O.J. Simpson trial. And it's, it's, uh, it's I think, the rest of the week. It's, it starts tonight. And I think the other part is tomorrow night. And I don't know for how long it goes. So I'll be DVRing a lot of things. And then there are a lot of other things that are going to have to be on demand because I can't, I can't miss, I could easily DVR this, but no, my friends on Facebook and I, we are all about this tonight. So we will be talking about this tomorrow. First thing. So, and unfortunately I'll have work to do. So I really won't be able to Facebook all that much. Um, Timing sucks, but you know, maybe it'll make the maybe the work that'll, that they'll give me will make the day go a lot faster. Cause there are times, kind of like earlier today, where I could not keep my eyes open. I mean, I was I was reading, going, you know, scrolling through my Facebook page. I was also doing some Amazoning, not buying anything, but you know, just putting things in my cart and whatever, and doing some soap.com, doing the same thing, and my eyes kept. I was like, oh, Nancy. Honey, you can't do that. You got the glass doors in front of you. People are walking by. You don't know. So, yeah, it sometimes it gets a little it gets a little monotonous and my eyes tend to get very very droopy. Thankfully, it doesn't happen every single day. But every now and then, and I do go to sleep at 12, you know, midnight is the, and I'm getting enough sleep. So, yeah. So I can't complain about that. It's just, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm getting old. Older. And, and you know, old people like to sleep. And I'm falling into that category. So, mm -hmm. so anyway, on that note, this is, oh, you know what? I keep showing, I keep telling you that I'm, I'm I get it together, Nancy. I write in the description box my my makeup, but I don't know if I've shown you my foundation. It's the NARS Sheer Glow, but this is my shade. This is my shade. It's Macau. NARS Sheer Glow. Sheer Glow is in the back. You can't see it, but it's there. You go. Sheer Glow Foundation. This is in Macau. I love this but can i tell you it is thick as all hell thick as all hell so you know how i how i use it i'll show you and then i'm and then i'll go people because you know there's really no reason this is my makeup palette it's it's the case it, well it the palette is dirty too but the case is also dirty so this is my makeup palette i use every day i pour two drops of lotion to start then I use then I put a drop of this my Maybelline BB then I put my philosophy take a deep breath on top of that did something just fall something probably just fell okay well whatever and after that I take this but how I do it because it's so thick, is I shake it up, open it, twist it open. Unfortunately, it doesn't have a pump. Of course, you have to buy the pump. With NARS, you have to buy the pump. $14 or something. Uh-uh, no. I take this part, this end of the palette stick, that's what I call it, and I just dip it in, and it's relatively 
still it's about up to here maybe but I just dip it in and then I swipe it I swirl it with all the with all the mixture the the bronzer the lotion everything and then I take my sponge and I dab 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 and I dip 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 and, and on goes the makeup every single morning I told I told this to a coat to, to hop along and she's like for real you have time to do all of that? I said, yeah, I have time to do all of that every single day. So that is how I put on my, my makeup, people, every single day. All right, so now that you know, it's, the, it's kind of fun because you kind of like to see the mixture of the foundation with the bronzer, with the lotion, and, and, and then you put the, the foundation on top. But me doing that, dipping, this is going to last me God knows how long. Like, seriously seriously and this does have a pump thank goodness so I just do one pump that's it and it gives me this and I'm very very happy so that's it that's all people talk to me let me know what you think who else is going to be watching the OJ uh, Simpson trial thing whatever that 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 godforsaken madness on FX tonight let me know let me know and uh, we will discuss tomorrow okay if I remember and I will talk to you tomorrow then. And let me know what you think, okay? I love you. I love you. Have a good evening. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye now.